You're looking at a stellar nursery, young stars only a few million years old, captured in this stunning image by the James Webb Telescope. Well, first, the image is just gorgeous. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. But it's more than just a pretty picture. Researchers at Johns Hopkins University found six proverbial needles in this haystack of the universe, green circles marking so-called rogue planets 950 light years away. And by this we mean these objects that are kind of free-floating in space, untethered to any star or any body in space. Maybe they just form without a star, and they just form like a star, but they, they have very, very small mass, or they were at some point part of a planetary system and with interactions they were kicked out. To see them, researchers had to use a Canadian tool known as NEARIS to detect light from far outside our solar system. It was the first time we applied it to study uh, young stars, something in our galaxy. What they observed helps explain how planetary masses form, whether in disks of gas and dust around young stars, much like Jupiter and our own solar system, or from a cloud of gas and dust untethered to any star's gravity, like these free-floating objects. Is the solar system typical or rare? The fact that we didn't find anything below five times the mass of Jupiter shows that um, we are probing the very limits of star formation. Knowing the size to look for helps narrow down the field in the search for planetary bodies yet unknown. If we are able to one day travel to these places, what will we see, what will we, what will we find? Question scientists hope the James Webb Telescope will help answer someday. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.